This week was a big week of catching up with friends and trying lots of restaurants. We started Monday really strong by getting a last minute reservation at Place de Fête in Brooklyn. I have never been there before, but oh my God, please go and order the Berkshire Pork Country Rib. And for a starter, I'd love the mussels with green sauce. Halfway through the dinner, because we were in Brooklyn, my friend turned to me and she said, why don't we go to Lucali for a second dinner? So of course I said yes, because it's pizza and Lucali is so famous. We went, we sat in the back garden. We were so lucky to get that table. We had pizza, we had calzone, we split a bottle of wine, we hung out with friends, we talked, we stayed up until midnight and I got home so late. So I was really tired and I was really proud of myself that I managed to go to the gym the next day. And I think I went to the gym three times this week, maybe not in a row. Friday. My goal over the past few months has just been to get back in a routine, which is so hard, especially in the summer, but I think I'm there. I'm hitting the gym for about three sessions a week. Peter and I are gonna go check out the new Food 52 outfit, so Brooklyn. Wow. We're at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. We're going there. I have never been to any of the Food 52 offices, not their old ones, and definitely not this one before I saw it for the first time. It is mind-blowingly beautiful. I used to work at Food & Wine and Epicurious, and I have some visibility into how Bon Appetit operates down at the World Trade Center. And I would say that Food 52 may have the best editorial content production facilities of any mainstream food media publication. This office is like the nicest office I've ever seen in my life. After that amazing tour, we headed back to the city and had dinner at Il Cantinori, one of my favorite Italian restaurants, and we called it a night. One of my favorite crochet YouTubers is Cinnamon Stitches, Jennifer, and she was doing a really big clean out of her massive yarn stash and selling boxes on Etsy, and I saw the announcement just in time and I grabbed a box. So let's unbox it together. I'm so excited. Do I have scissors? I wonder if I can open the box with a knitting needle. Let's see. I think this is such a brilliant idea, selling boxes of yarn that you can't use because, you know, anyone who does a craft knows that Acquiring supplies is so hit or miss these days, especially because you have to buy so much stuff. This would be a lot easier with scissors, hold on. Getting craft supplies these days is kind of a tricky thing. I mean, for better or for worse. You can get almost everything online, but the problem with buying things online, especially things like yarn, is that you don't always get to touch it, or you don't really know, like the word soft doesn't mean anything, right? There's no quantitative measure for a lot of these descriptions of things that you need to touch and you need to feel and you need to, that are really tangible. So sometimes you end up with a lot of stuff that you don't necessarily wind up using or just don't fit into projects that you have in mind. I have so much yarn and to be honest, I didn't really need to buy this box, but I'm such a huge fan of her channel and I think she has really good taste in yarn. Um, so I got a box. It wasn't that much. It was $40 and I've seen some people do unboxings online and I'm so excited to find out what's inside. So let's find out. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. Right on top, the very first thing I'm seeing, there's a whole Mary Maxim kit. This is, so Mary Maxim is an online yarn store and they sell these kits that have everything you need, usually just yarn and the pattern. You have to provide your own hooks or needles if it's a knitting pattern. Um, wow, okay, so this is for a baby blanket. This is this baby blanket. 
It comes with three skeins of Mary Maxim yarn. This is the Sugar Baby yarn in the colorway Jelly Bean. It's really cute, it's pink. I love multicolor pink yarn, and I love this kind of yarn. If you can see that it's sort of twisted, I'm sure there's a name for it, but it's it looks like it's different color strands of yarn twisted together. So there's white, there's purple, there's pink. This is so cute. What else is in here? Oh, we have some cakes. I love cakes because you don't have to rewind them. So this is from Premier Yarns. This is really nice. This is a sweet roll. Sweet rolls from Premier Yarns. And this is in the colorway. My vision is terrible. Jello Pop. And there are two of them. I love the colorway. This is 100% acrylic. It is so soft. It almost feels like cotton. Like that's how soft this acrylic is. Not like yarn cotton, but like the softest cotton t-shirt. It feels like that. Then, well, this is exciting. I've never tried this yarn. I've always wanted to try it. This is the Bernat Forever Fleece. I have never used fleece yarn and I've always wanted to try it. And this is such a pretty color. Look at that pretty soft gray. I don't know if you can tell. One of the reasons I've never bought fleece yarn online is because I didn't know what it felt like. They don't have it at the Michaels near me. The New York City Michaels is like in a basement underneath a Trader Joe's and they, they're great, but there are a lot of things that they just don't stock. It is so soft. I'm trying to think what it feels like. It feels like the inside of an ultra soft fleece sweatshirt. It doesn't feel like fleece, like outerwear fleece. It feels like the inside of a very soft fleece sweatshirt. I love this. There are two skeins in here and they're massive. Each one of these has 194 yards. It seems a lot bigger, but maybe it's because it's super chunky. There are two. I'm so excited about this. This is the colorway Tea Tree. So it's sort of, you can see it's, it's, it's basically a very, very, very pale gray, but it's a sort of a green gray makes any sense so it's not a slate gray it's like a green gray here is another cake of the jello pop sweet roll so now I have three I love that she was so thoughtful and she put multiple skeins in case of the same colorway in each box so you can do a whole project with this so you don't just have one skein or one cake and you can do like a tiny thing but this you can actually make like you can probably make like a vest or even a sweater or a kid sweater and this is, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I feel like I got so, oh, okay, I should stand up, but I'm too lazy to stand up. I feel like I got so lucky. This is, look how beautiful that is. Purple and pink. This is the Premier Yarns Candy Shop. This is also 100% acrylic, but it's a different kind of finish. It's a little bit fuzzy, which is really nice. This is such a beautiful colorway. This colorway is called, this colorway is called Jolly Ranger. Again, it's that kind of windy yarn where it's two colors wound together. I love it so much. It is so soft and so perfect for autumn, which I know we're in the middle of summer, but fall is just around the corner. So thank you, Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches for putting these boxes together. I'm so happy I got a box because I saw a lot of people wanted these boxes and they couldn't get their hands on them because they sold out so fast. I was very lucky that I saw your video right in time. Saturday night. Drinks, movie, dinner. We're gonna see Joyride. For drinks, we headed to Everything's Jake, which is a brand new bar diagonally across the street from the Union Square movie theater in New York City. It was so fun, but so empty. And then we headed over to see a sneak preview of Joyride. I have been so excited for this film, and I definitely think it'll be a huge hit with younger audiences. Afterwards, we hit up a Hawaiian restaurant that we've been meaning to go to called Norita in the East Village. It was very like home cooking, really nice, like very cozy and surprisingly open very late. We had dinner at 9.30 at night. This morning, I met up with my sister for Sunday brunch and we went to one of my favorite restaurants, The Commerce Inn, which just started doing brunch on the weekends like two weeks ago. It was so good. I love all their vegetables and I swear these pancakes have mochi in them. What do you think?
check it out. See you next week. Bye.